When was the first time you saw somebody on screen that made you think, I want to do that, or I look like that, or... I mean, I would go back to Salma. Salma being obviously Mexican, uh, born and raised in Mexico like me. It was someone that I really related to and looked up to. I just found it so ad admir admiring to, to be able to come to this country when it was really hard. I mean, I think that now we're in a world that, that it's way more inclusive, but I do believe that when she got here, it was very hard for A, immigrants, B, Latinos, and C, women. So I think that she really bridged, but I do feel like we have a lack in between. I mean, she's the last real like immigrant Mexican actress that we had since last two, three, four years that, a, that the world started opening it up again. Like we have other Latinas, but not necessarily Mexican actresses. So I'm very excited to be here and be able to be that for other women. It makes me really moved and. and it brings me to tears when I go to work, and it, and it also puts a little bit of pressure on you. Yeah. Have you been able to tell her that, how much she inspired you? I have. I met her at the Oscars last year, and she was wonderful. And, you know, Eva is someone that I adore, and I think she's done such an incredible way of opening the world uh, conversation to more Latinas. She produces as well, just not an actress, but she's behind the camera, in front of the camera, producing, and I eventually am aiming to do so and open more opportunities as well. Well, I was going to ask you that. So so when you when you say something like that or see the work that she's been doing, you know, producing, and that's in your future, anything else, directing, I mean, do you have aspirations to do it all? Absolutely. I think that it's a key component to being part of. I don't think that it's, uh, we live in an era that if you don't use your platform for good, there's no point to really have it. We're, we're enabled to have this voice and this stage. We have to use it for good. So eventually now that the, the world is opening for me and I'm starting to get more opportunities thanks to the work that I'm getting, I definitely want to open a conversation for more uh, women and more uh, Latinos and more immigrants in general and just diversity uh, to come in and have a chance to be seen. Speaking of the work, you have Hobbs and Shaw coming out this summer. Yeah. What was the best day on set? Oh my god, it's just so fun to be on that set. Dwayne's hilarious, Jason's amazing, Idris Elba is incredibly funny yet intimidating, and Vanessa Kirby, I'm so excited to see for people to see Vanessa, because she's such an incredible actress, but she's so badass in this movie, and um, I just was thrilled to be representing my community in this film, just being such a trailblazing film for a Latino franchise as well, like there's a lot of Latino in this world, so be part of it was a massive, massive, big uh, moment for me. That's great. Well, you deserve it. Thank you so much for being here today, and good luck with the release this summer. I'll see you soon.